Kansas has struggled this year against good teams. You would expect that after losing 80% of your scoring from a national title team. Meanwhile, Tennessee maybe without one of its best players. Jason Hoare with CBS College Sports and Steve Lapis. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. Breaking down Tennessee at Kansas. And uh, Steve, when you talk about this game, we'll start with Wayne Chisholm. Uh, he was taken off the court in a stretcher in the last game. Now, he still may play in this game because there was nothing seriously injured. But if he can't go, what does Tennessee lose without him? Well, here's a team that only plays two guys more than 22 minutes a game. So they only re they really, you know, they don't play anybody a lot. So a guy like Brian Williams, who's 6'11", he's huge, who averages about seven rebounds a game in 16 minutes, he's a guy who maybe gets more time in this game. So it's got to change Bruce Pearl's approach to the game a little bit, but he's got some bodies there to put in. But Wayne Chisholm is so much more athletic than Williams. And with their style up and down, that certainly changes that aspect. There's no doubt. But, you know, their style has taken a little hit this year, and I'll tell you why. They're, they're not forcing nearly the turnovers that they forced in the past, and they're only shooting 31% from three-point land. So this has been a team that in the past has turned you over, made a helter-skelter game, got a lot of threes in transition and dunks, and this year not forcing those turnovers. They only average about seven and a half steals a game, not nearly what they've done in the past. Have they not gotten enough from Tyler Smith and J.P. Prince? Oh, I don't think they're getting enough defensive pressure more than anything else. Now, Bobby Mays, the point guard, has done yeah. a great job. But, uh, you know, I think Tyler Smith has been a little disappointing so far this year. That was a long way to go. The SEC season is just going to get ready to get into gear here. So uh, they've got time. But I think his play has been a little down. And J.P. Prince, I think when he came in last year, got eligible, he was really on fire for the second half of the season. And he's also been a little slow getting started. So it'll be interesting to see how they make up for not having, possibly not having Chisholm. Uh, as for Kansas here, obviously, not having to go against Chisholm would be big for them. But they have to worry about themselves here because in big games, they have not played up to caliber. The last four, they're really struggling to score. Who in the backcourt, other than Sharon Collins, has to step up? Well, Tyshawn Taylor's had a decent freshman year so far. You know, he's got a pretty good assist to turnover ratio, and that's one of the things I look at with young players. If you have a good one, plus over one, uh, you know, assist to turnover ratio, that's pretty good. And then you have Brady Morningstar, who's been a little inconsistent shooting the ball. So those two guys are going to have to step up in this game. Now, the fact that the game is at Kansas, that's going to help those young players play better. And whenever you are a pressing team like Tennessee is, your pressure doesn't usually do the same things on the road as it does at home. As we saw in the Temple game, they weren't able to force a lot of turnovers against Temple. So I think Kansas will be able to handle the ball in this game and make it tough. What does Cole Aldridge have to do in this game and, and for the rest of the season for this team to be successful? Well, the more they get a chance to set up, the more Cole, Ald Cole Aldridge is involved in the game. And so if the game gets helter-skelter, not good for Cole Aldridge. If the game is a lot of half-court sets, better for him. And I think the fact that the game – and that's not saying Kansas doesn't like to run. They are opportunistic when they run. They don't press everywhere like Tennessee does. So I think if they pick their spots but play half-court, Aldridge can do some damage in this game. He was 8 of 10 in his last game, 20 points. That was against Albany. This is not this, that's not Tennessee. Who wins? What's the key? Well, I'm going to say that Tennessee wins the game. They need a good road. I think they're due. And I just think this Kansas team is so young that they're bound to make some mistakes at the wrong time. And Kansas has had big droughts, scoring droughts of late. Uh, that Arizona game, they had a nine-point lead. They couldn't score at all in the second half. That's evidence of that as well. For more on this game or any other this weekend, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.